Hi, I'm Charlie, and today we're going to take a look at how to set up a compact DAC Ethernet data acquisition system. To start, let's look at what's in the box. I have an NIC DAC 9188 chassis with space for eight C-series modules, as well as two BNC connectors for digital triggering and my Ethernet port. My first step is to connect the power. Included in each kit is a power supply brick with a standard connector providing DC power. I'm going to connect that to my chassis. You'll also need a power cable to connect to your power source. This is not included in the kit, but is just a standard PC power cable. Also included in the kit is my DACMX DVD software that I'll need in order to use my chassis. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I've already installed both DACMX and LabVIEW onto my laptop. And finally, I have my Getting Started poster to help me with instructions when I'm setting up my chassis for the first time. My next step is to connect my network. Here, I have a standard Ethernet cable that I'm going to plug into my chassis. This is connected directly to my laptop in a link local type configuration. Note that I could also use any standard off-the-shelf wireless router, Ethernet router, or just a regular Ethernet switch or hub. As long as you have a TCP IP connection, you can talk to your chassis. Finally, I'm going to come over here to Measurement and Automation Explorer to start the software setup. Any chassis that's on your local subnet that is near your computer is going to show up automatically in Measurement and Automation Explorer under Devices and Interfaces. If I come here and look under Network Devices, I see my 9188 has shown up automatically. If there were any other devices on my subnet, say if I were in a corporate type environment, I could see those as well. On System Settings, I can see that I have no modules currently installed on my chassis. That's expected because I haven't placed any in there yet. I can also see that the IP address is 169.254, implying a link local address. I can change that under network settings by choosing DHCP, static, or link local. Work with your IT administration if you need help with this. In order to use my chassis in Macs, I'm going to right click and say add device. In this way, I explicitly tell my host computer that this is the computer I want to use to control my chassis. My next step is to install C series modules. In this case, I have an NI9219 universal input module connected directly to a thermocouple in the first channel. I'm going to place this in slot number three of my chassis. And you'll see that it appears automatically in Measurement and Automation Explorer here in slot number three. If I want to test my setup, I can click on the chassis and choose Test Panels. This will give me the opportunity to verify that I've set up my measurement correctly. If I click Start, I'll see that I start to get some data back coming from the thermocouple. This is raw voltage data, so it's in the millivolt range, and difficult to interpret unless you can do the equations in your head. So let's let LabVIEW do them for us. I'll click Stop, close the test panel, and I've already got LabVIEW running in my background here. So let's take a look. On my block diagram, I'll start by dropping a DAC assistant. The DAC Assistant is a configuration-based, step-by-step wizard that allows you to set up your measurement without any prior programming experience. I'm going to collect, click Acquire Signals, Analog Input, Temperature, and then select Thermocouple because that's what I'm measuring. Next, I'll choose AI0. That's the first channel because that's where I have connected my thermocouple to my 9219 module. I'll click Finish, and the DAC Assistant will present me with a series of options that I can use to further configure or customize my measurement. For example, I can choose degrees Fahrenheit instead of degrees Celsius. I can also change the 9219 from high resolution mode to high speed mode if I want to take faster measurements. When I click the OK button, the DAC Assistant is going to automatically generate code for me in the background. This means I don't have to learn how to program with DAC yet. I can let it do it for me. What I need to do is tell LabVIEW that I want to continuously acquire measurements, so I'm going to right click and drop down a while loop to continuously execute my code. I'll also want to visualize my data, so on the front panel, I'm going to right click and choose a chart and just resize it so that I can clearly see my data. Finally, I'll connect the two together so that my data is coming from my DAC assistant to my chart, and I'll click the Run button. What we'll see is that it's about 70 degrees here in the AV studio. I'm going to grab the thermocouple here with my hand and warm it up. 
and you can see that degree by degree, the thermocouple is starting to increase in temperature. So that's all you need to do to get started with a compact DAC Ethernet data acquisition system. Thanks for watching.